There's a giant under ice. He just ate this one. You're watching Canadian Mountain Man, your guide to Canada's wilderness. Winter chanterelles. Make sure there's no needles in them. I'm gonna throw a chunk of cod in here too. Well, this is day seven. We're gonna go trekking through the woods and try and find some mushrooms. Finn's already excited. He's running back and forth. And uh, it's been a great time on this island adventure. We have seen some awesome whales and sea lions and all kinds of exciting things. And uh, we almost just don't want it to end. It's been that much fun. We're gonna hike up into the woods up here and look for some mushrooms and have a little bit of fun up there getting our exercise. Let's go Finn. Ready to go? What's that? Nice place, eh? It's incredible. No, it's terrible. The rainforest is something special, it really is. How you doing, Finn? You having fun? As long as he's in the bush, he's happy. But what's weird about, you know, rainforests like this is, I mean, some areas are so thick you can't even crawl through them. And then you get in spots like this where you can, there's not enough light for things to grow. Right? Yeah, and re exactly. It comes down to old growth canopy. It really does. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. It's what I watch for when I'm out there hustling through the woods. And then the rest of it will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like Salal is. Or the blackberries. Oh. You get thickets of blackberries. Or Devil's Club. Yeah. Oh thing. my. that he certainly loves the bush. Yeah, he does. It's hard to find a happier dog. Oh man, the best place to be for a dog. Well, you know where we're going. Yeah. We'll take a break here and get our bearing. It was kind of up this way. Yeah. Up in there. It's on that next kind of step up. So we have one more to climb. We stop for a break here. We've got quite the hike up into the top there. Looks like the slugs have been eating this. Yeah, they love them. Man, those are gorgeous. Nice chanterelles. Okay. 
There's another one in behind there, Greg. There's a big one. Yeah. But that's not as good at eating, is it, Joe? Not yeah. really, eh? You know what? In my opinion, they're all great. As long as they haven't become soggy, uh -huh. which has been way too dry for that, right? But okay. personally, that's great eating. They're <clears throat> top notch. And they fill your bucket quicker when they're that size. There's one right in behind there, okay? Right in there, in that hole in there. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's a nice one, eh? That's good. And the veins do come down a little bit on the stem. What it is, they're very dry right now. It is a chandrill, yeah. That's a beauty. They're so small at this time of year, eh? Like, they're just little buttons. But the chefs would just do any... Oh, he got a basket right in the bucket. Well, we can get more footage tomorrow after. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we get it right in there with the whales. Because I know you like that. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to get the whales. <laughs> Get out there, eh? <laughs> really appreciate if you get a good whale shot, Joe. <laughs> get right up close. That's right, yeah. You're jumping right over the boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Breaching. Yeah. You know, it'd be easy to fly the drone through here. Yeah, what we should do is find some nice mushrooms and and fly them off that i didn't bring my drone i was going to that's <laughs> wild chicken of the woods chase <laughs> the nice one these ones don't run away <laughs> here's some winter chanterelles That's some elevation. <laughs> Trying to kill me, Joe? <laughs> I will take a break, eh? Yeah. Oh, if you go right out there, that's that other beach. If you mm -hmm. go right around that corner and down, what? it goes oh, that yeah, other yeah. beach. Okay, great, great. All right, I get you. Oh, even fins wore out. Such a hike. No meaning that. That one looks pretty good there. Yeah. That's a nice one over there. We'll get some video of that. Yeah. I think that's the one I got a video of the slug eating. Oh, there's lots of it in here. I like this guy back here. As far as the video goes, that's pretty neat. That one's so fresh, it looks wet, eh? You see that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you to get uh, some video of me collecting it again. Lighting get okay. exactly up here where you can see it. You think those are okay? Well, you'll have to. Well, what is going on I'll here? Feel them. This thing. No. Why don't you feel it? There's no point cutting it if if it's, if it's not, not good. good yeah you check it and if it's okay then i'll cut it otherwise we'll find another one i think we'll take one chunk out of it and just look at it try to feel something that's really soft well this is soft yeah that looks pretty good greg see how it's wet yeah that looks good i'd say that whole thing is really good yeah exactly is yeah that okay and then what you do is you cut it here mm -hmm. and eat the top and just eat the top yeah the okay. outside of it. video yeah i uh, we should maybe leave some so yeah it doesn't kill exactly. the plant huh? no exactly just take what we need and well, we can find more yeah exactly just leave some for seed yeah and the mycelium is in the wood on this one so it uh 
it does its thing and spores out but the mushroom will grow here probably for 10 years this out of this a long. beard too here do that again this will make a good beard too <laughs> Or Spock ears. <laughs> I think we'll that one's yeah. Here. He looks pretty rough, eh? Yeah. Not as Look at the water pouring out of it. How fresh it is now. Oh, Isn't yeah. that amazing? Oh yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's Get like video it's, of that, Joe. If you can zoom in and get the water dripping out of that i think would be cool yeah that's crazy eh that's how fresh this chicken of the woods is it actually is leaking water water right out of it because that's incredible it. wow we're gonna squeeze the water out of it yeah <clears throat> so perfect eh you think we got enough, Joe? Yeah, I think that's lots. You know, I don't think we need to devastate. Oh, look at those nice ones. Yeah, we should get a uh, video of the hot sauce in front of it. Yeah. Did you bring it? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Okay. Wow, those are really nice, Greg. Those are gorgeous. We've got to get a couple of those. We're back at the camp now. I'm sweating a bit. It was quite the climb through there. I had to take a few breaks on the way back. The tide is up and we are uh, gonna go out. Look at the ripples of the tide moving in. It's amazing. It's coming fast now. Time to get out there. He's a nice looking color. Hope it didn't hurt him. Oh, I don't think so. Almost looks like one of his legs is a bit lame, but. Greg told me this guy's poisonous. I'm not sure, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> See you later, little man. Just released him onto this tree, and he's just hunkered down and camouflaged like a piece of lichen almost. Very cool. Sorry if I'm shaking. He scared me. Okay, well. Whew. Hypothermia. Okay, Joe, I will send the boat to you. Thanks, Greg. You're a lifesaver, buddy. Huh? You're a lifesaver. Who's your favorite YouTuber, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Greg Ovens, number one. Canadian YouTuber of the year. Let's see, one of these fishing hooks is caught right Most people the... usually wear a pair of waders, Greg, when they go in like that. Yeah. <laughs> and get this hook off of the rope. That might help. Now, if I can just stop from, or keep from Let's falling see. in too. Thanks, Greg. I've been videoing the whole time, I hope. Yeah, I got most of it. What do you mean most of it? I hope you got all of it. Or did I go in for nothing? I didn't catch the uh, slipping on the log. No, but. Well, I wasn't ready for that either. Okay.
you in this one. Well, tell them what keeps happening to our pods. Both of our shrimp pots got stolen. People are stealing our shrimp pods. So we struck out on those. But... Oh, we got a oh. few shrimp. Quite a few. Yeah, so we got some shrimp. That's all right. We should have just sat our shrimp pot over here. Wow, we didn't know people were going to steal them. Oh. Well, may as well throw her back down for the night. Yeah. Hard to believe our crab pot's doing better than our shrimp pot. Well, they're gone. What do you do when people steal your uh, stuff? I believe it's very bad karma to steal anybody's fishing gear or hunting gear. You remember that, people. It's the worst thing you can ever do. Quite a few, right? Yeah, it's good. Not bad. It'll be a good snack. I wasn't counting, but no, we can count them after if you want. There's still more. Yeah. Well, that'll be a frying pan full. A small frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> I always bring a small frying pan, then the fish look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think it matters, Joe. No. I'll probably catch crab now. That was a pretty nice little haul, eh? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. We had an awesome day and uh, just found out the fire bans on the north end of the island have been lifted, so we get to have a campfire tonight which would be a treat seeing that we've been camped out out here for quite some time and weren't allowed to enjoy a, a campfire we did have a bit of an issue today uh, we've had our second shrimp pot taken uh, we leave them out there for a day and we go back they're gone so that's a little bit disheartening to lose that equipment and obviously the shrimp that were in there we were looking forward to but these are the things you got to deal with when you're in the outdoors. We've had an awesome trip. We're going to extend our stay out here for a couple more days. We're going to go on the grizzly tour trip over to the mainland. And then the day after we're going out to Coal Harbor to do some salmon fishing and halibut fishing as a treat to finish this trip off. It's been a phenomenal trip and it's been such a pleasure hanging out with Finn and Greg and enjoying the humpback whales. We've seen them on the way back into camp tonight. I got some great video from a distance and we had porpoises swimming in front of the boat yesterday. Sea lions that were right next to us on the shore and swam up to our boat. It's been a phenomenal trip and an incredible adventure. Uh, don't want it to end, but all good things do have to come to an end. going but it's uh... some buttered shrimp on the go so nice to be able to have a campfire sure makes the camp and feel like camping when you're allowed to have a campfire okay guys it's day eight and we're breaking down our camp. We're getting ready for our next adventure. We're going out on the grizzly trip. 
and we're going to go across to the mainland and check out the uh, coastal grizzlies and we're going to just break down our camp now and start heading for the hills. up so we have a great place to put our stuff when we uh, haul Greg and Finn back to town because we have to do two trips with all the stuff in the boat. We're kinda, we've got a little boat. So. Holy, look at that log. Whoa, look. That's crazy. Have to do a quick maneuver here. <laughs> Just lasso it there, Greg, and we'll drag her in and chop her up and build a cabin for you. <laughs> There's a, one of them weasels. No, that's, that's a, uh, mink, isn't it? Yeah, that's a mink. <laughs> Look at that. There we went in the water. No. Didn't get any. I didn't see that. Really good. Good. I got it all. Did yeah. Him running around and everything. Did you? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> it is nice to have two cameras going as much as you can. Well, mine takes so long to come on. That's the problem. Well, it was like the other day when those eagles crashed in the water. I oh, wish I had caught that. The one swimming the shore. Like, amazing. These guys have been really nice, eh? This little marina. Helpful. So I just pulled Greg's crab trap. There was nothing in it. We struck out on Dungeon S. This is our transition day back onto the big island. And we're going to trek around and look at some of the museums and some of the attractions that this area has. So. Should be a great day. It's kind of rainy and foggy, so it is a bit of a challenge getting the rest of the stuff that we need done, done. But uh, we're always up for the challenge and uh, having a blast out here. It's been an incredible trip and a person almost doesn't want it to come to an end. You ready to go, Finn? Let's go. Well, guys, thanks for watching our island adventure. We had a great time. I just got to pick up the power bank there. And we're leaving 
without a trace. There's Greg's moss bed. And his shelving. Thank you, Island, for showing us a great time and giving us a bounty of beautiful mushrooms and fish and just an amazing time and memories were made here. Sure is a beautiful place. And I can't wait for our next trip out. Ready to go, Finn? If you guys are on the north end of the island, make sure you come to Telegraph Cove and say hi to Tyler. He runs the little marina office where you can go sea kayaking or use the boat launch. And very helpful guy. He gave us lots of tips on where to fish and what to do. And really appreciate the locals that help a guy out. Be sure to tune in next week for the rest of Greg and I's adventure. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Canadian Mountain Man.